Year 7, Simplifying Algebraic Expressions. So as a little starting activity, have a look at the yellow algebra tiles. You need to see if you can write down any pair of expressions that are equal to each other. So pause the video, have a go, and then unpause to check your answers to part 1, part A. So you should have found that the matching pairs are xy and yx. Highlight those in red. The other matching pair that we can have is x plus y and y plus x. And this is because addition can be done in any order, multiplication can be done in any order, but subtraction order matters. So for instance, if we look at this example, x take away y, if, for instance, we do 10 take away 2, that gives us an answer 8. If we reverse the order of the numbers, so we have 2 take away 10, that gives us negative 8. So those two are not a match. And the same with the division. If we do 20 divided by 2, we get 10. But if we reverse the ordering of the numbers and do 2 divided by uh, 20, that gives us 0 0.1. So these two are not a match either. Have a go at 2 part A now. Again, you've got to match any equivalent expressions from the pink algebra tiles. Pause the video, have a go, and then unpause to check your answers. Now, did you get this right? So we can say safely that n times n is the same as n squared. A number multiplied by itself is the same as saying square the number. And the other equivalent pair, n plus n, is the same as 2 multiplied by n. There are no other equivalencies. You can check by looking at some numbers, but these four have no equivalent pairs left. You're now going to have a look at these statements here. You need to decide whether these are true or false, and if they're false, how could you make them correct? Pause the video, have a think you may want to discuss with another person, and then unpause the video and check your answers. Now, how many of these did you get correct? So, question three, x plus x plus x is indeed 3x, so that is true. Number four, x multiplied by w is the same as w multiplied by x, so that is true. Multiplication is commutative. We can do that in any order. Number five, m times n is not equal to 2m, so that is indeed false. m times m is equal to m squared. Now, if we were to do m plus m, that would give us an answer of 2m. Number six, m plus n is equal to n plus m. That's true. Number seven, 5y minus y is not equal to 5. That is indeed false. Number eight, 8 times 5 is equal to 5a. That's true. Number nine, x divided by two is not the same as two divided by x. Order matters when we do division, so that's false. Number 10, a times a times a is not equal to three a. It's equal to a to the power of three or a cubed. If we were to do a plus a plus a, that would equal three a. Number 11, a squared is not equal to two a. That is false. A squared is equal to a multiplied by a. Now, 2a is equal to a plus an a, so there's a difference between those two calculations. Number 12, a divided by 3 is not the same as 3 divided by a, that's false. Number 13, a half of b is equal to b over 2, that's true. Number 14, this is not true. 3 times n squared is not the same as 3n all squared. 3n all squared is the same as 3n multiplied by 3n, and as you will find out in the next task, this is equal to 9n squared. So it's not the same as 3n squared. So the focus of this lesson is to look at how we simplify when we multiply terms together. Let's start by thinking about multiplication as a calculation of area, for instance, in these rectangles. Look at the top left-hand light blue rectangle. What is its area equal to? Well, we would do 4 multiplied by 8, which is 32. It might be 32 centimetres squared, metres squared. It doesn't matter. We'll just look at the numerical value, 32. So width times length or length times width gives us the area. So what about in the second rectangle, the pink one? Well, we have to do 6 multiplied by A, which we can write as 6 
a. Now, that is the same as a multiplied by 6. Again, we write the number first because we think of it as 6 lots of a. Try the next one, the yellow one, yourself. So b multiplied by 10 is 10b. Same as 10 multiplied by b, which is still 10b. Now, what about this pale green one? The area would be worked out by 5 lots of 3p. Now, that means a 3p, a 3p, a 3p, another 3p, and one more 3p. So you have five lots of them. So if you combine those together, that's 15p. So it is as simple as five times the three lots of p. You can also think of it as five multiplied by three multiplied by p, because three p is three times p. Now to do multiplication, you do five times three is 15 times by the fee, p gives you the 15p answer. Okay, you don't need to multiply the p by the five and by the three separately. You simply do five times three times p. This sometimes causes a little bit of confusion, but have a look at the next calculation. If we were going to do two times three times four, we would simply do two times three is six, multiplied by four is 24. We would not do two times three to get six, and then separately two times four to get eight, and then multiply them together to get 48. That wouldn't be the correct answer. So in the same way here, we're just doing five times three, 15 times P, 15 P. Try this on the next one, three M multiplied by two A. So the three times the two just gives us a six, M times A, we can write as M A or A M. So if you wanted to, you could write it all out like that, Multiplication can take place in any order we like, so we can do the 3 times the 2 to simplify it to give us 6, and then we just have the M and the A. It's useful to write terms out in alphabetical order, so I will give my final answer as 6AM. Now, that leaves us with the last one, 4B multiplied by 7B. So 4 times 7 gives us 28. B times B, we don't write that as BB, we write that as B squared, and there is your final answer. So you're going to have a go at this quick task, which is also on page 115 of the textbook. These quick 10 questions, have a go at them, pause the video, and then check your answers afterwards. So check your answers, correct any that have gone wrong, make sure you ask if you aren't sure as to where you have gone wrong with these. Now, Remember that for simplicity, it's often easier to write out terms with the letters in alphabetical order, but there's nothing wrong with, for example, in question two, presenting your answer as 15 DC. That would still be a correct answer. So don't discount any of your answers if you've written the order of the letters in a slightly different way. So we're now going to have a look at dividing terms, which is a little bit more complicated. So. Let's think about part A here, the example A. M divided by M. You could think of it like 5 divided by 5, a number divided by itself. What's the answer? It's not 0, because it's not the number subtract itself. It's 1. So M divided by M will equal 1. What about 4 lots of A divided by 4? Well, that's going to give you an answer of A, because you're taking four lots of a, which would look like this, and you're dividing it into four parts. That's what division is. What is each part worth? Each part is worth a. So the answer is a. What about part c? n squared divided by n. Well, n squared is n times n, and you're then dividing by n. It takes you back to an answer of n. And the last example, 6x divided by x. Well, 6x is 6 times x, and then you're dividing by x. Well, it takes you back to an answer of 6. Now, your turn. Have a go at each of these examples. Pause the video, have a go, and then come back and look at them again and check your answers. So, part A, 20x divided by 5. That's going to give you 4x. Part F, 4A divided by 4, is going to give you an answer of A. G, P divided by P, will give you an answer of 1. Now, 2M squared is 2 lots of M times M, 
and you're dividing by m, so effectively you're cancelling down your fraction by m and m, which leaves you an answer of 2m. And we can do the next one in a similar way. We've got 12a squared, which is 12 times a times a, all divided by 2 times a. We can cancel the fraction down, effectively, by an a and an a. So what does that then leave us with? Well, it leaves us with 12 times a over 2. And then the 12 and the 2 can be simplified, if you think about that. 12 divided by 2 is 6, so the answer is 6a. Another way of thinking about this is we're asking ourselves, 12a squared is being divided by 2a. So we're asking us, 12a squared is equal to 2a times what? So we know to get the 12, we need a 6, and we know to get the a squared, we need an a. So here's another way of thinking about the answer, it's 6a. Now, we're going to end by going back to the concept of collecting like terms with slightly more complex expressions. So, here, look at example one. We have three lots of AB plus five lots of AB. Think of AB as a single term now, rather than thinking of the A and B separately. Three lots of something plus five lots of something equals eight lots of that thing. So it's eight AB. Now, what do you notice about example two? Can you see? It's still AB and BA, but they mean the same thing. BA is the same as AB. So this is simply 8AB plus two lots of AB, which is 10AB. Now, number three, 10PM minus 9PM. Again, think of a PM as a single term. It gives you an answer of 1PM left over or just a single PM left over. Now, number four, sneakily, we have an MP and a PM, but MP is the same as PM. So I could think of it as 5MP take away 2MP, which is 3MP. Now, number five, we have 5A plus 3B plus 6AB plus 4BA. Now, I'm going to highlight all the unlike terms. So different terms will be highlighted in different colours, including the sign in front of them. So those two are different terms, they can't be combined, so they're in green and yellow. Now this and this, they are the like terms in this, because of course the BA at the end we can write as AB. So those are the only two terms we can simplify. There's a 5A at the start, there's a 3B next, and then we have a 6AB plus, essentially, a 4AB, so that is a 10AB when we put them together. And in the last one, again, I'm going to highlight any terms which are like terms. So different types of term will be in different colours. So first of all, 10M on its own, but I've got a negative 3 and a positive 8. They're both number terms, so they can be highlighted. I've got a 4AM and a minus 2MA, and of course what I'm going to do is I'm going to think of that as not minus 2ma, but minus 2am. So I can combine this and this, the two red-like terms. So 10m, to begin with, can't be simplified at all. Minus 3 plus 8 gives me a value of plus 5. And then 4am minus 2am is plus 2a. Now, it's very tempting in these questions to try and combine, for example, this A and this B with this AB. We can't. They are different terms. So you only combine terms together when they are the identical same type of term, which they aren't in this, in this particular example. A, B and AB are three different types of term. Now, it's your turn to have a go at some questions from page 115, exercise 3E, have a go at questions 11 and 12. And then there is an extension for anyone who works through all of these questions. You can have a look at that too.